in today's video um, I'm doing just a very quick um, fix for Windows 10 and some information for anybody who has been trying to install the latest Windows 10 by um, which is 1511 from the Microsoft website or by the Windows updates uh, feature basically um, I've been speaking to Microsoft about this um, since the 1511 November update came out and um, they said to me the only way to um, um, do the upgrade to 1511 is to do a clean install of Windows which I've previously done and it is a lot more stable uh, than uh, the previous version and uh, there is a few slight changes um, the start menu remains exactly the same um, but if you right click on the uh, start button this uh, panel has changed and there is a few other differences um, a few people haven't noticed this but um, uh, in Windows 10 in both versions when you do a clean install or an upgrade there is actually some corrupted files in Windows which a lot of people don't know about um, and I'm actually going to show you how to uh, fix the corrupted files or see if you've actually got any corrupted files on your system I will also show you how to check your version of Windows um, to see what version you're currently running um, first of all I'll cover that to show you how to uh, check your version if you right click on your start menu and go to command prompt admin and click yes when the uh, notification comes up you will see the big command prompt uh, window all you'd want to type in there is VER and press enter now if you're on the older version of Windows 10 still uh, you will see a lower number than that which is the 10586 but if you've got that there it will you will be on the latest version of Windows 10 and also if you right click on here you will see that you've got the latest version as well now the other thing to check um, is the uh, corrupted files which I've already done so when I run it it's not going to find any problems because I did it when I first done the install uh, but I'm going to show you how to do it so once you've checked your version of this do close command prompt because you need um, a fresh uh, command prompt to open so again just reopen it the same way right and on this bit what you want to type is SFC then put a space and you want to do forward slash scan now okay and then when you press um, enter you will see this little dialog thing here and it will say that it will take some time to do so why that gets to 100% I'll pause the video and show you the results uh, at the end right uh, as you can see I'm on 96% uh, percent at the moment uh, to run this test as well you don't need to close everything down because um, you can just run in the background um, and as you can see uh, my system has found some corrupted files um, and fixed them um, this can be caused, I mean last time I ran this I've done it twice and there was no problems at all um, and then recently I've had 
loads of Windows updates so again it's probably found something corrupted in them uh, as per usual Microsoft never releases a full version of Windows which is completely stable uh, why I don't know they never test anything um, so as you can see my corrupted files have been successfully repaired so uh, the best thing to do when you see this message come up is to redo the uh, scan again so just close it down and reopen command prompt and again just type in exactly the same and press enter oh hang on something's gone wrong there oh there we go right so again um, I'll pause the video and show you what it shows when it gets to 100 percent right uh, I'm almost at the end as you can see now um, and it should show no corrupted files. There we go. So as soon as you rescan, or if you do any other scans, um, you should see that it finds no violations. If it does, then obviously um, it will fix them, as you saw before in the video. Um, but if um, you run the scan and it just says that then you don't need to worry but if it does do a scan and it finds the corrupted files do just run it again just to confirm that everything's fixed okay I hope this quick video has helped you out uh, please like the video uh, to support my channel and subscribe if, if you want to Thank you for watching. Bye.